We run? Yeah. Okay, we're back here. Just massaging this down to what I feel like is the proper shape, plus a little bit extra, which uh, you always want a little bit extra so that we can ooze out. And I'll sample a couple places here. See, so that looks like it's going to work fine. You can see here it's it's oozing out, which is which is okay. If theoretically, you'd want the very edge of the metal to come together and have all of it inside. If it looks like some of it comes out, that's okay too. And from my previous experience, I think that's pretty good. You just have to uh, try to leave enough in there so that when you do finally clamp it, it will, it will ooze and push into the control surfaces rather than coming out. Okay, so with that done, what I'm gonna do, get another pair of gloves on and clamp the upper surface. Kind of wore that one out, pushing on all that carbon fiber. Okay, now this is just about done. It's a little bit tricky because of the shape, trying to get this upper channel to stay in place. I tend to want to slide this direction, but I figured out a way to solve that. If that occurs, depends on what what kind of angle you might have here. So let's see if I can get this to I put some tape on here just to keep the resin off of it. Uh, okay. So we're gonna pull. Uh, and actually, as I remember, let's take and trim off, which I don't really need and I'm trying to be in my way. I find out where I get my scissors. And yeah. This kind of helps. At this point, let's this will get in the way of my clamp. It'll be easier to have it out of the way. here. Okay, now let's see. Looks like it's going to stay in place. Okay, a few more clamps. Like a, you got clamps, a lot's better than none. These clamps here in the past they tend to like to slide off after a while. Not really fond of these type of clamps, but in a bind they tend to work. Well, now what I want to do is just inspect that trailing edge, make sure it's all come together. And that looks good. Yep, 
Yeah, it looks really good. I'm looking for a bulge area where the carbon fiber balled up and it's got too thick and didn't ooze that way. It came this direction. Down on the end, we've got a little bit of that going on. See, right in this area, there's just a little bit of black showing up right there. There's a lot here that's oozed out, of which uh, what I'm going to do is pull some of it back. I'm going to trim it, and then I want to look and see if I got a big thick area between the two aluminum surfaces. That being the case, I might open it up and push it in just a tad. But uh, meanwhile, let me get a knife here. And uh, I don't think I can cut that really well with the scissors. Let's see what happens. All right, what we'll do here, just for your, for, to show you what can be done, I'm gonna loosen this up a little bit. And so I'm going to spread those two skins and massage this back in there. You know, cause what I want is, I just want those two trailing edges touching so I'm just pushing it in there about an eighth of an inch and that's almost all I need Perfect. Okay. What I'm going to do is uh, put a few more heavier clamps right at that point, which will make sure I have a good positive down pressure at that point. And hopefully, uh, there'll be no question about. No question about having that trailing edge absolutely perfect down here at this end. Yeah, that little bit that's oozing out will trim off nicely. And Therefore, we can call that done until tomorrow. And uh, meanwhile, that's uh, kind of simple. There's some little tidbits of nice things there that I've learned. Maybe uh, if you want to have a trailing edge like this uh, and have a custom angle that you can't buy an extruded piece for, uh, carbon fiber is pretty cheap for this kind of a project. You're not using a lot and as everybody knows it's pretty stiff. And so anyhow, hopefully that uh, will help out somebody uh, with a project and uh, I say it's been my first video I've ever done and so I don't know if uh, I'll do any more or not but uh, that's it. Just got to clean up now and everybody knows how to do that. So thank you. Bye-bye.